how's everyone doing there tonight? This is Cult Flick Fix 24, uh, back with a video. And this is going to be a haul video. I did receive some stuff through the mail here. I got uh, my MVD uh, Blue Underground sale package. I hit that sale up. They're having a sale from MVD with Blue Underground, so I picked up stuff there. I also got part of my Roger Corman sale, his birthday sale from Shop Factory. I didn't pick up much, but I did get like two-thirds of the package in because uh, Shout Factory sends their packages separate, which is very odd to me. I, I just wish they would send it all in one. So I'm still waiting for one more item that'll probably be on my next haul video. Also, I have some uh, pre Orbit DVD pickups and orders, and as well as um, some Diabolic DVD orders I did therein. So we'll be going through this mixed genres, out of order, but everyone sit back, relax, enjoy, and let's get this started. We'll start off with a DVD first that I picked up from uh, eBay. I got a Bunny Man Vengeance. This is the third part of the Bunny Man Massacre trilogy. Um, this was alright. It was pretty fun. I had fun with it, but it isn't as good as... Uh, my favorite was the Bunny Man Massacre, the second installment to this franchise. But yeah, this one... I watched them now in April and I did have fun with them. So this is... Uh, Part three, Bunny Man Venge well third film in it, Bunny Man Vengeance. This is a Korean edition and it does look like a bootleg, but it's not. It's actually a legit copy. Check the back of the DVD and it it's actually a DVD copy. So that's Bunny Man Vengeance. Next up, I got this from a uh, Diabolic DVD. Picked up the Code Red edition of The Dead or Alive. They are re-releasing these like that are out of print. And bringing some back into stock, so I'm really excited because I've never seen this one. Looks pretty cool. It's the Dead or Alive from Code Red. Next up, I got this from uh, Dark Force Entertainment. I picked up Groupie, and this one looked right on my alley. It's like a rock band that's touring, and you got this Groupie, real mysterious girl played by uh, Taryn Manning. Got Eric Roberts in this, and Hal Oz Ozin. I slaughtered the name but yeah it, it uh it's like a rock band they're getting picked off one by one by this demented groupie so it looked right up my my alley of like slasher like pick that one up from dark force entertainment groupie next up i picked this up from ebay i got the thing on 4k with a slip it's an upgrade for me and love this film man what can i say about it it's my second favorite carpenter film next to halloween this was a masterpiece and not much to it. There's also no uh, no digital code with this. I didn't come with one, so. That's the thing on 4K. Um, next up we got, this is a pickup from Orbit DVD. I did pick up the 4K of Heavy Metal. I don't watch too many animated films, but this one is my favorite of all time. It also comes with a Blu-ray of Heavy Metal 2000, which I had fun with it's a far cry from the original but still was enjoyable to me the music just sells it to me this is a beautiful still book as you can see there and it does come with digital codes there guys first come first serve and there's the disc arts for the blu-ray 4k ultra hd and then you got the heavy metal 2000 blu-ray in the back not much art on the inside but Man, I want to see how this looks on 4K. It's my favorite animated film. That is Heavy Metal and Heavy Metal 2000. Still book edition 4K and Blu-ray. There it is again. Beautiful art. And next up I got an Arrow Video Edition. I got this on or from Orbit DVD. Got Rogue, Rogue Cops and Racketeers. These are uh, kind of Euro crime thrillers. Italian, I love these kind of films, man. They just keep me entertained. All They're just so much fun. And this edition is nice. It comes with some awesome art. Look at that front art. I love that back art right there. And I heard these films are pretty solid, man. So I can't wait to check them out. We got uh, the booklet. Great art as well. This is a great edition, man. Scan through that for you guys. Not much on the back. And the two films are, we got the big racket. 
starting with Fabio Testi. Does have the Italian art as well. And some limited edition O cards here. Back art. Very nice photos there from the films. And I love these Euro crime films. Okay, I'm gonna just do a marathon of these as I have a few to watch. And we've got the Heroin Busters. It's an awesome name. A lot of special features on these as well. We've got some more O cards in here. Look like action fun. Some sleeves there. There's a guy from, uh, I forgot his name, from Deep Red. There he is again. He's got alternate art as well. Italian. Can't wait to dig into these, man. These are right up my alley type of films. That is the Rogue Cop and Racketeers. Box it from Arrow. Had to, had to pick this one up. It's a must. So those are my hauls there. Now we're gonna get into the sell packages. So first off, I'll get into my Roger Corman package here. Not much, just a couple, but I did pick up Forbidden World. Uh, I don't know if I've seen this or not. At times it looks familiar. At times it doesn't. It's kind of like a alien ripoff type film, B movie ish, but I always enjoy those. It came with a booklet as well. It's real thin. Scan through that. I love these type of sci fi horror films. And then we got the Forbidden World theatrical version, and then we got Mutant Director's Cut. That's the unrated Director's Cut. So it goes by two names there. I can't wait to watch this in Galaxy of Terror, maybe back to back. So I got that one as well. It's Forbidden World. And also I picked up this one. It's a still book. I got Battle Beyond the Stars. This is an awesome still book. I just love that art. I've never seen this film. It does have John Saxon in it. Rest in peace. Beautiful art, front to back. There's the inside. This is a Scream Factory edition still book. It says our creed is to live fast, fight well, and have a beautiful ending. Now way to watch this. I like my sci-fi films as well. Beautiful still book. I need to get a case for this ASAP. I don't like leaving them out like that. So that's just what I picked up from the Corman sale. I do have another thing coming that'll be in my next haul video. Now we're going to get into the MVD uh, Blue Underground cell. So I got DVDs and Blu-rays and 4Ks, so I'll go in that order. We'll start off with the DVDs. Picked up the Killing Hour. Awesome art. I took this as a slasher. It's from 82. But uh, I'm getting more of a Jello-like in a way. I don't know why when I read it. It's like murder mystery style film. And this is the DVD. I've never watched this one. I like that Blue Underground has inside art on the... DVDs, it's pretty cool. Yeah, the Killing Hour, I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. It's the DVD edition from Blue Underground. Okay, next up we got... I've been uh, picking up some Spaghetti Westerns as well. I picked up a three-pack here. We got Campaneros, For, For the Apocalypse, a Fulci film, and Run, Man, Run. Uh, a couple of these films have Tomas Milian, who I, I love, man. Big fan. Um, yeah, triple feature. They had this one, Sep Solo, for the same price. Just four of the po Apocalypse. I said, now nah, I'm going to grab the three-pack and get more films for the same price. There's the Discards, Campaneros, Four of the Apocalypse, Run, Man, Run. The only one I've seen is Four of the Apocalypse. The Fulci one, I love, I love that film. So I want to revisit it. I didn't own a copy. And I've been getting into Spaghetti Westerns lately, so I'm going to start picking those up slowly. 
Got three westerns there, spaghetti westerns. Now let's get into the Blu-rays. I picked up another spaghetti western. I got Man, Pride, and Vengeance with Franco Nero and Klaus Kinski. Haven't seen this one either, but I'm a big fan of Franco Nero, so can't wait to check it out. This also does have that inside art as well. Yeah, great deals on these for that sale. It's Man, Pride, and Vengeance. Next up, we got Night Train Murders. This is an Italian rape revenge type film. It's not going to be for everyone. It does have some offensive scenes in it. Um, I did. I seen this film before I watched uh, Last House on the Left. And it does have it a little shot there, more reprehensive, rehensible from Last House on the Left. Um, I'm going to say this film is more exploitive than Last House on the Left, but. I'm not going to say it's a better film because Last House on the Left is a classic, but I really enjoyed this one. It's quite disturbing. It has a crazy ending as well. There's the inside art. But yeah, I've always wanted to own a copy of this one. Finally got one. It's the Night Train Murders. And next up we got one I've been after for a while, Inferno. This is a sequel to uh, Suspiria, Argento. I've seen this film. I love it. It's not as good. It's not as great, I should say, as Suspiria, but this is a solid sequel. And finally got a copy on this. I was after the Arrow edition because I love that art. But it went out of print. It goes for crazy money. I'm not going to pay that. So I'm, I'm happy with a Blue Underground copy. This also has the art inside. Apologize for that glare, guys. But yeah, Inferno. Didn't own a copy. Finally glad glad to own a copy of it. Next up, we're going into the 4Ks here. I was a little late to the party on these, but I did get them. Got the New York Ripper on 4K. Love this film. Top 5 Fulci film. Um, I want to see the restorations on these, man. I, I kind of held back on these and regret it because I didn't get the slips. But, oh well, I got, I'm, I'm all about the... The transfer so i want to see see how these look on 4k man from blue underground always does a great job and they got the inside discards new york ripper man classic next up i got maniac 4k um love this film top five for me of slashers joe spinell Carolyn Monroe, what more can I say? This film's just so good. There's the inside discs. Can't wait to see how these look on 4K, man. I'm really excited. That's Maniac. Next up, another Fulci. I got House by the Cemetery. This is another great Fulci film. Love it. Got Bob in this one. <laughs> Everyone knows about Bob that watches some Fulci films. But, man, I just had to pick these up for the 4K transfers. House by the Cemetery. And last but not least, I picked up Fulci Zombie on 4K. I just have to see the transfer on this. And the slip is very out of print, but it's all right. I got the transfer here in the disc. This film is, what can I say about Fulci Zombie? It's just so good man my top five zombie films of all time for sure can't wait to check this out in 4k as this is like my millionth copy of this film <laughs> but it's all right it's one of my favorite zombie so that's my pickups guys um i'm not gonna give a recap because there's so many but hope everyone enjoyed the video uh, please hit a like, comment, subscribe. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Hope everyone's having an awesome week out there. Stay safe. Be kind to each other. This is Cult Flix Fix 24 back with a video. Peace. Yeah,